Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, me Cowboy Jack. Boy, it's one of my favorite times of the year. It's Valentine's Day. I just love Valentine's Day. A great time of year to show our appreciation and love for those who are, who are around us, supporting us, taking care of us, and bringing joy to our lives. I thought we would stop and get some sweet treats for some of those awesome people in our lives. What better place? You see where we're at? That's right, we're at Luliet, the bakery and creamery right here in Spring, Texas. They even have another location in Conroe, but they make their own ice cream in-house, amazing cookies, cupcakes, all kinds of stuff. You guys wanna come check it out? Come on. Wow. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Wow, this place is incredible, guys. <laughs> Look how cool this is. Look at all these incredible ice creams. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm Cowboy Jack. Hi, I'm Nellia. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, is this your store? Yes. Wait a second. You mean to tell me y'all make all of this in-house? All of it. Every single flavor we make it in-house. And it's all made from scratch and we make it every week for the stores. Guys, homemade ice cream right here in Spring, Texas at Luliet. This is insane. Look at all of these flavors. This is so cool. How do you come up with all of these flavors? Well, we usually do everything that we love to eat and everything that our little friends tell us what they like and then we add it to the menu and we... I'm looking at some of these names. I see animal cookies. I love those. Yeah, cereal milk. Of course milk. we have chocolate and strawberry. Cereal milk, like you said, that is awesome. Wow. Cereal milk is some of my favorite stuff. Yeah. You know when you eat a big old bowl of cereal in the morning and then afterwards you have that tasty milk in there and you make sure nobody's looking and take a little slurp? Yeah. That was the best part. Wow. So, could we try some of these? Of course. You must try some of all of them. Wow. Um, well, I'll, I'll tell I'm open to suggestions. I'll try anything you think well, we ought to try. Well, I think you talk about cereal milk, so I want to show you what it tastes like. And it has these marshmallows like marshmallows kind of like lucky charms mm, like lucky charms look at that yeah. guys this stuff looks amazing huh? wow that literally tastes just like cereal milk <laughs> how cool is that that is yes. so cool and also we have animal cookie and strawberry are some of the most popular flavors Ooh, I, I'd love to try that strawberry. I just love a good strawberry ice cream. It's kind of like you're mixing something that's really healthy for you and something that's not so healthy, right? Right. Everything <laughs> with moderation. Little balance. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you what, that is really incredible. <laughs> that is so creamy. How do you get your ice cream to be so creamy? That's awesome. Well, it's because we use only real ingredients. Okay. We use milk, we use cream and sugar, and that what makes the best ice cream. Simple, natural, all beautiful. That is so cool. And you actually do make it here in-house. Yes. So I you guys enjoy. take the milk and you do all of this science to come up with this incredible concoction. Like we are, yes. We put it all together in a big pot and we mix it and mix it and mix it and tomorrow that mix is gonna turn into ice cream tomorrow, tomorrow. wait how long does it take to make ice cream well our ice cream takes three days from start to finish because it's all handmade so three we have days? to take all our steps and make sure we're taking care of the product with how amazing this stuff tastes i bet you're making a lot of ice cream every day we do we do <laughs> we're lucky so cool. And what are some of these other goodies you guys have here? I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so I was thinking about getting some things for the people that I really care about. And you guys have some incredible treats here. I just wanted to see what all you've got. Well, these ones are our French macarons. We also make them in house. They're little tiny cookies filled with different flavors, buttercreams, and they come together and they're delicious. I've never actually tried one of oh these before. Oh my goodness, That's like crazy. right now nobody's watching me, so you must try <laughs> one of our most popular flavors. Everybody loves Oreos, so. I'm I just... do love Oreos. 
Wow, guys, look at this thing. This is really cool. Ah, it, it almost seems like a crime to take a bite of it because it looks, I mean, it's like a piece of art. Yes. But, uh, you know, uh, for the, the sake of testing, I better try it out, right? For sure, just sure. And those are also gluten-free, so for all our gluten-free friends, those are perfect. That's incredible, and that's important to know because a lot of people do have gluten allergies and yes. different food allergies. And we want to be careful with that. This is so. Hey, what's that over there? Hmm. What? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Sorry, guys, I just had to sneak another bite. This thing is so good. Wow, and I see a lot of cupcakes. Yes, these are baked fresh every morning. Miss Emily comes here every morning. She bakes them, decorates them with Miss Mary, and every morning they're freshly baked. That we is only serve fresh cupcakes in the store. That is so cool. And look at this King's cake, because even though it's Valentine's Day, we're also coming up on Mardi Gras, right? Yes. That's very and important here in the South. And cinnamon and cream cheese. <laughs> These are some of Valentine colors and flavors. Wow, and I see some really cool. Do you know what that Look is? At that. What is that? It's a moon pie. We That's make... a moon pie? Yes. Now, when I was a little cowboy growing up, moon pies were some of my favorite treats of all. That is so cool. A homemade moon pie. Whoa, wait a sec. I see some huge cookies over there. You guys make cookies in here too? Yes. Every morning we make. Look at these gigantic cookie sandwiches. Those things are huge. They're cookie pies. Wow. We have a red velvet filled with cream cheese, chocolate chip, and our carrot and oatmeal pies. Wow, guys, look how big that is. I mean, that's, that's huge. You couldn't eat too many of those, but look at these cookies. Now, one of my all-time favorite cookies is just a good old-fashioned chocolate chip. I, when I get my hands on a good chocolate chip, it's hard to stop. Look how great those things look. And then snickerdoodles are also a huge favorite of mine. Wow, they have so many awesome cookies here. Oh, wait there a second, you're gonna go. let me try this? Yes, just out of the oven. Guys, look at how big this is. I mean, it's, it's almost as big as my face. That's kind of making my head. Hey, wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, let me put my hat back on. I gotta take a bite of this cookie. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. You guys look at Okay, we're not supposed to talk with a mouthful. Mm. But it's really good. Guys, look at the cross section of this cookie. That thing is absolutely packed with big old chocolate chips, and it tastes so fresh. Wow, that's just a really fresh, clean taste. I love it. And then, wow, you guys make custom cakes here as well? Yes, custom cakes. Look at that, and Team Halftime. Cookie cakes, and also we have our cakes in the fridge. And You cake. guys make all kinds of stuff. Rice Krispie Treats, also gluten-free, ready for Valentine's. That is so cool. Well, I just cannot get over how great these cookies are. You guys are cookie magicians. Well, you're bakery magicians, you're ice cream magicians. You got. I mean, you wear a lot of hats and you make a, an amazing, a lot of amazing things here. Oh my this. God, I'm glad you say that because we are actually cooking in the kitchen and I would love to show you around. We can go in the kitchen? Just today. Okay, well, hey, I'm not gonna pass up that opportunity. Let's check this out. <laughs> wow, guys, have you ever been in a real kitchen before? Like a commercial kitchen? Wow, this kitchen is so huge and there's stuff going on everywhere. I mean, she's icing this, I guess that's a cake. I'm not yes, real sure. <laughs> Tres leches, wow, that is so cool. I mean, that's artwork within itself and she's doing it with such patience and grace. But look over here. What's going on over here? This is crazy. These are our cakes, the birthday cakes, the custom cakes for any good. Any occasion, I guess. That is so cool. And I see, so you're using a turntable to kind of help you out a little bit. That's probably why I can't do it so beautifully at home, right? <laughs> it takes a little bit of experience. Yeah, wow, look. 
So she's gonna spin that around and it's gonna clean it all up. That is so cool to watch. I never knew icing. Now I know eating cake is fun, but I had no <laughs> idea watching someone ice a cake would be so fun. Yes, mm -hmm. Miss Emily does 10 to 12 cakes a day and we yeah. all sometimes have to jump in because sometimes we have a lot of cakes to make, but yes. That <laughs> is so cool. And you, I mean, that's, that's absolute art. That is a real Thanks. skill you have. That is so cool. And thank you for showing us. <laughs> We go through a lot of sprinkles in this kitchen. We love putting sprinkles <laughs> on all our cakes and the, the designs and flowers. And Look at that! Chocolate and macaroons, like the one you tried today. We also add them to our cakes. So this is like our birthday cake, our classic birthday cake. It looks incredible. I would be so happy if that was my birthday cake. <laughs> Boy, I don't think we could fit enough candles on the top of that one. Though. I'm Cowboy Jack's getting a little few years on them, but that is such a beautiful cake. And you just, I mean, that's so crazy that you were able to do that with such speed. And uh, guys, get a close up look at this thing. I mean, that is just absolutely stunning. That is so cool. Isn't that amazing? It really is. Wow, and so you use that to write on there? Mm -hmm. Wow, the look at look at that. That's like her pen or marker or whatever you want to call it. I see a B I R T H D A Y. You wrote birthday. Here comes an H A P B Y. Look at that, guys. It says, happy birthday. This is her dad. That is so cool. And now it's going to say dad on it. Happy birthday, dad. I, I, <laughs> I don't know a single dad in the world who wouldn't be really happy to get this cake for his birthday. Isn't that amazing? I know a dad who would love that cake. <laughs> I'm saying. Just putting it out. Wow. And so all of this is made from scratch. Like, I, we're just walking around in your kitchen and I see fresh ingredients everywhere. That is yes. so cool. These are our ingredients for making our ice cream. So we have sugar. Uh, this is called dextrose. And this is a. This is a sugar derivative. It's still sugar, but this was gonna do is gonna help us bring the freezing point down. So when okay. you have ice cream, it doesn't melt right away. So you have ice cream for a while. We add a little bit of salt, and this is dry milk. So wow, that's a lot of dry milk. Right, and this is our milk. We have gallons and cream at the bottom. Wow. And it goes all into this big machine. Now what is this giant machine? This is called a pasteurizer. We use this to pasteurize our mix. Pasteurize? So that means you, you let it out in the field to eat grass in the pasture? Not necessarily. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought... A I little thought, different. Okay. Pasteurizing well, also means bringing something to a safe temperature so it doesn't hurt anybody and it keeps everybody healthy and safe. Okay. So we pasteurize it to 165 degrees. So make sure everything on our ingredients are safe. Okay. And we can make it into ice cream, into this big machine over here. Wow, that is crazy. This is so cool. I can't believe, you guys, we saw all those tubs of ice cream and it was a lot. And I even tried a couple of them and I'm, I'm feeling pretty full right now. But if you can imagine putting all of this equipment to work, to make those delicious, delectable treats. That is so cool. <laughs> yes, twice a week we do it. Yeah. So one whole batch makes around nine to 10 buckets at a time. Nine to 10 buckets, so is that like a gallon? No, there's three gallons per bucket. That's 30 gallons of ice cream, every batch. 30 gallons of ice cream? Imagine going to the store and picking 30 gallons of milk out of Ooh. it. I, I, you know, I eat a lot of ice cream, but I couldn't imagine eating 30 gallons. I mean, if we added up what I eat over the course of a year, well, hey, 
We don't need to talk about how much ice cream I eat. <laughs> exactly. We just enjoy it. Well, thank you so much for letting us see behind the scenes of this incredible bakery you own here in Spring, Texas. This was so cool. I'm so glad you came. And thank I you. love it because it's Valentine's time and we're, I know where I'm getting all of my tasty treats for my loved ones. That's Because you guys make some incredibly fresh and so tasty things. But hey, at the end of the show, we always do the yeehaw. You think you can help me out? Um, yes, I'm sure I All can. All right, so we're gonna count to three and we're gonna jump up and yell yeehaw. Okay. All right, well, thanks for coming with us on this adventure. I hope you had a blast, because I know I did. I'm full of tasty treats and I'm ready to get some more for to go. But until next time we see you, one, two, two three. three. Yeehaw! <laughs>